Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you what happens when you play Trials of Osiris. Trials of Osiris today is all lag switchers. That's all you will ever find in Trials of Osiris. In this game, we joined in and we were like, oh, okay, these guys, these guys are not that good. We can beat them. And if you watch, the first snipe we get on him takes about like two seconds to register as a hit. It's just... You should not be able to lag switch in Trials of Osiris. Bungie, uh, yesterday or the day before, announced that they were banning many people for lag switching. But they really didn't do that because our first game in Trials was against lag switchers. Um, I want to talk about lag switching in Trials. If you lag switch, you are horrible at the game. You just don't know how to play the game. And because you're bad, you have to lag switch in order to win. I mean, is it really worth getting banned just to get to to uh, the lighthouse? Just to get one adept weapon? Just for that? Is it really worth it? No, it's not. It's a waste. But, I mean, maybe part of the reason we lost was because I was using No Land Beyond. But, you know, you know, No Land Beyond's a pretty, a pretty beast gun. It's probably the most overpowered gun in the whole game, so... I don't know why we, we didn't win this game. Yeah, but... Just lag switches are really annoying, and I really hope Bungie does something about it. Like, look at this. I sent him flying. And then he comes back, blinks through me, dead. And he doesn't die. I don't. I don't understand. It says I killed him, but I really didn't kill him. I. I was just really confused this whole game. Really didn't make any sense. And somehow he gets the res off, and I, I die instant. That was a good play. I'll give him that. But this whole time he's blinking around the map, reviving his teammates. Finally, we get him. But I'm reporting all of them, and if you if you guys ever run into these guys playing Trials of Osiris, make sure you report them. They are not playing the real way. They deserve to get banned from the game. I think here it starts to get really laggy. I'm not sure. I think it's maybe around the heavy round. But one of the guys was actually pretty good, but I don't know why he was lag switching. He didn't need to. He was, he was so good. It was just a waste. I don't know where that guy sniped me from. He must have switched to Icebreaker to do the, the ice the Icebreaker glitch. The Icebreaker glitch is when you're playing Crucible and you run out of ammo for your secondary, what you do is you switch to Icebreaker, you wait for it to get the six shots, and then you, uh, like you kill yourself or you die or something. And then as you're dead, you switch to your shotgun or sniper or fusion rifle, whatever you like. And then you'll have full ammo. It's actually really helpful. Yeah, this it doesn't get laggy here, but soon you'll see it's just horrible. If you guys haven't watched my uh, double skirmish comeback or the uh, vault of glass clutch, you should go check those out. They'll be in my channel. I get that nice snipe of no land beyond there. Okay, now the heavy round. Their their rockets actually took like yeah. extra time like the rockets were lagging themselves it was terrible i didn't know what was going on my teammates didn't know what was going on yet yeah, they start lag switching here because it takes forever to start the next round and as you can see all the connections just dropped to red bar right as the round's taking forever which if that ever happens to you that means someone's lag switching We actually win this round. I'm pretty sure we win this round, but these these axion bolt grenades are so annoying, so overpowered. Look at that! Look at him. He was teleporting. Yeah, I did. And that the the Akos 9895. His kill took a while to count as an actual kill. Yeah, Nova bomb. That was a good play. But somehow he keeps getting these reses off. Now, the heavy round. 
Our connection's getting a little bit better, so we're like, oh, okay, they stopped lag switching. We're all set to go now. But, no, not really. Wait, we no, we didn't we didn't win that last round. But they did because of their lag switches. But this is where it starts to get really laggy. Starts right here. I missed the snipe there. I should have hit him. That was that was that was bad on me. Trying to see if they're in middle. When you're playing trials, you want to try and stick with your team as much as possible because you can team shot everybody if you team shot with let's say you're all using thorn if you team shot with thorn if everyone hits them in the body once with the thorn they're gonna die there's no way to get out of it here I should have killed him hard scope around the corner he's not there I run away because I don't want to Getting a one on one with someone who's super laggy because not gonna win. Here we're just waiting for special ammo, which probably was not the best idea. Because they're all warlocks. Yeah, they're all warlocks. Yeah, here it kills me. When he dies, he somehow gets that res off. And then someone else self res. And if you look here, he goes arc my teammate goes arc blade. And if you watch, look at him. He hits, he hits that guy three or four times, and he doesn't die or take any damage, and they win the round. I really hope Bungie becomes more strict on these players that lag switch. It's just really frustrating. Whenever you play someone who's lag switching, it just really pisses me off. But I, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just a game, you shouldn't get mad, but it's, it's annoying. It's really annoying. I mean, come on. And here, they're both, my teammates are both standing there. I'm like, what are you doing? Come on, let's get the heavy ammo. But it was just lag. Because look, he t my teammate teleports. I see he's going right, I run to the left. And right there, that rocket that killed my teammate was laggy. Yep. Another tip, whenever you're in a 1v1 and each person has rocket launchers, you want to shoot your rocket and blink away, no matter what. Even if you don't hit, you want to blink away. Because they, they probably have rockets, and they will kill you. Oh yeah, this is where it gets laggy. Throw a nade. We're trying to find them right now. He dies. We kill him. With a rocket. And this is the laggy guy. Look, if you just look at it, he's, he's teleporting. Look at, like, what the heck? Come on. I've never seen someone lag switch this hard before. I, it's never happened this bad. And then, then, look at the... He gets the, he gets a revive. And then, here he is again. Unkillable. So we don't know who we're supposed to kill or what, because everything's just crazy. Like, the, how did he kill me with a shotgun from all the way over there? He, that means he would have had to snipe me. I mean, Felwinter's Lyca could have gotten me from all the way over there. Look, he just teleported on top of my butt. I just don't know what they're doing. They are just lag, they're lag switching the crap out of us. It's just really bad. So here, I'm just going to rush them completely. I use my arc blade, and he Nova bombs me. So that was a good, that, was, that wasn't lag switching. That was a good play. As you can see, the connections are getting better, except for that one guy. But he just turned the corner and just killed him. And look here, he punched him, he shotgun meleeed him, and killed him. It, it, he didn't have a good shot. I don't know how he did it. And that's it. We lose. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and drop a like. And if you lag switch, you should really just stop playing Destiny because it's really annoying. Thanks again.